it's me, Princess D, and I am finger bald. <laughs> okay, so I am here to do a haul video, but I opened the door and there was a package out there. And this package I've been waiting for like ever to get and just assumed that it was lost in the mail. Um, this was sent to me by Cherie from Just Nailed It, and I'm going to open it in front of y'all. Um, she sent this to me a super long, oh, something feels super soft in here. <laughs> Let's see what's, oh my goodness, looky, looky, looky. Okay, so she sent me a bunch of these, which was so delicious of her to do because I, I needed some. I had two of them. Well, I actually had three of them. Um, because they come in handy. So, um, I broke one because this little thing, I guess, wore off right here at this line. It broke off right there. So, when I used it, it would just pour out. I don't know what that little tip makes a big difference. Um, but anywho, so, apparently, I ordered some on AliExpress. I don't know how much they were I don't remember but if I can find the link because <laughs> it was so long ago then I will put it in the description box I know I'm really behind on that um, but thank you so much for Cherie for these um, I am super super grateful they will come in handy <laughs> um, look at this be delicious dusting brush oh my goodness it's so pretty <laughs> It's so sparkly. Look how sparkly. Oh my goodness. It's so soft too. It kind of looks like um, Nao Nails. The one from Nao Nails. I love it. That's gel, not dirt, y'all. Get off my case. Um, but it don't fit in my little brush holder right there. Oh, shucks. Alright, so I'm going to put this away. Thank you so much. It's so stinking cute. She also sent this adorable little bracelet. I'm assuming this is for Miss Elena, uh, unless this is for um, Selena, because I highly doubt my fabric is going to fit in there. Uh, but thank you so much. That's very beautiful. It is like a herringbone type um, style. Silver. It's so stinking cute. Thank you so much. Um, and then she sent me this adorable little keychain. I like the puffer balls. It's so stinking cute. And of course, I'm going to use it because it is in support of breast cancer awareness. So thank you so much for that, love. I truly appreciate that. That was awesome. Thank you so much. If you haven't already subscribed to her, go on ahead and give her a subscription. Let her know I sent you, please. Um, moving on. So I did happen thanks. to stop in at the Goodwill. <laughs> yes, I did, y'all, because I was waiting for the other store to open, and the Goodwill was already open. But I wanted to show y'all what I got there, though, because I was like, I ain't going to find nothing in here, but I'm just going to go on in there and see what's up. But look at this cup, y'all. Isn't it cute? I'm going to use it for my files. But I just thought it was so stinking cute. I think it was like a dollar. So I got that. And then I got this, um... It's a soup mug, but I'm going to use it for coffee because <laughs> that's about how much I drink in the morning and then that's it. But I really liked it. And even if I don't use it for drinking anything, I could totally use it for files, brushes, so on and so forth. We have a million things we could use it for, right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> this one was only $1.99 at the Goodwill, y'all. Isn't it so stinking cute? And <laughs> I'll show you that last, okay? So I was super excited about this. It is, I don't know if it's a vase. I think it's a vase for flowers, but I thought it would be great to use as a finger stand instead of paying 30, 40, 50 dollars for those crystal stands on, you know, any other website or person that's selling them. Um, and this one was only $1.99. And it's pretty, right? Freaking pretty. You can even put some, um, acrylic paint or water paint inside of here like a jelly color you guys so i got this one because i thought it was so freaking awesome i don't know um who the initials are i don't know where it came from but 
I'm sure somebody will know from Kana, something Kana, <laughs> but this part is worn off or scratched off or something, but I thought it was absolutely fabulous because all of this, I know you guys probably can't tell, but this is all sand, you guys. And it is formed in there. They probably used food coloring or something to make the blue blue. Um, and this, I'm assuming, was maybe supposed to be a starfish. And this part got broke off or something, maybe, possibly, or not. Um, but I thought this was so awesome. So it's like a, a grip so you can hold it like, you know what I, I mean? This one as well that I got because uh, it says Puerto Rico. And, of course, my husband and my kids are Puerto Rican. Boricua. So I had to get it. And then I also got this photo album, y'all. Right? For stickers, foils, or what have you. Um, uh, stamping plates, whatever. Right? And this was only $2, you guys. Laugh at me for Goodwill shopping, but <laughs> I'm going to do it again, okay? Um, and why not? Like, why not? Like, why should people throw things away that other people find as treasures? Like, whatever. Okay. So then I also got this one, which was so stinking cute. It's like soft and furry. It says Barbie, but who cares? Because it's another giant photo album, right? Like I said, um, stamping plates, stickers, um, she modern, um, water decals, anything like packs of sugar or sugar. Ha! <laughs> you don't want sugar in there. You, packs of glitter or pigments or <laughs> some people sell acrylics in a pack, uh, whatever you want. You could put in here to store to make it easier for you and your clients to find, right? So there's all of that. Right and I think Okay, so here starts the dollar store stuff, y'all. Okay, so I went down the car aisle and I saw this. And this is a super soft microfiber cloth. Yeah, it's great for your cars, but isn't it also great to put some nails on? This, you guys, I thought was a great find. This is plastic, right? It has a handle on it that you put in here. Butting. And then you can use it for anything. This was specifically made for pencils, brushes, um, or you could put pictures. You roll them up and put them in here so they don't get crushed or damaged. But check out how you open it, you guys. If you dropped it on the floor, it's not going to open. Look, it's definitely... Uh, not going to open. You have to literally twist it and 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 twist it so it comes off. So you can put your files, your brushes in here, anything you want to put in here, you can put in here um, and store for another time. And if you want to put your brushes in here, you can do that and then hang it up so that all the brushes are facing upwards. Um, or if you have caps on them, they can all be facing downward, whatever. This right? I thought was absolutely awesome. You guys, for those of you that want to do color blocking and want the perfect tool for color blocking, cause you want to look more professional or whatever. So I got this tool at the nail store for $8, right? This I got from us Maxim. Um, and this is the kind of tool that Tony uses in his, um, nail art videos and sets whatever but I found these at the dollar store you guys it shows you back here so you get the flat blade you get the engraving blade a round blade and a triangular blade like a chevron or a smile line specifically what I'm talking about <laughs> and then you got these ones that absolutely will make the cutting of your acrylic fab tabular okay so I thought that was great. And you got all four of these for a dollar. Say what? Say less. Say who? So there's that. Yeah. So the other item I was talking to you about that I got the Goodwill that I was super excited about was this. Look at that. This is the same exact Dappin' Dish that Kirsty Meekin uses. Now I'm sure she can get hers at the Goodwill. <laughs> but I paid $1.99 for it. Now I have seen this 
um, one. I bought one similar to it, the closest one I could find to it, which was this one. And I got this on Amazon, I believe. Um, maybe eBay. Amazon or eBay. Um, okay, so the glue dots um, have changed a little bit. The packaging, you guys, at the dollar store. Um, this is now what the what they look like, and I believe before you only got like 40-something pieces, and now you're getting 72. So, if I'm right, that's great, so you're getting more for your dollar. But I also got these, because they had these as well. Um, but I don't know how good these are going to remove if you were to use them for your tips. But I also got some stuff to hang in the nail room when I'm done um, rearranging it at, <laughs> at this millennium, maybe, possibly. Um, so I got them both so that I could show you guys that that's an option at the dollar store. Okay, so Cammie and I were searching and searching and searching and searching. And this is not a dollar store item either, you guys. But we were searching for measuring spoon that went as small as one eighth because we were trying to mix some acrylic or something and it called for a one eighth measurement. So yeah, we could take the quarter teaspoon and cut do half but my OCD is like nah that's not half that's not half that's too much that's too little forget about it right so I found these at Coons in their dollar section so I bought the whole pack for a dollar and all I really want is the one eighth teaspoon so yes boo Cammy, I got you it's going in your package and for some um, reason all the colors I got a bunch of I got every color that they had so I got these um strips of hearts and they're like sticky crystals, you guys. They're so stinking pretty, right? They're 3D bling. So you could you could use them in a nail set if you wanted to. They are kind of big. But if you're a bling pal kind of girl, these would definitely work. And I will do a set to show y'all how bomb they will be. All right. Also, I get my packing tape at the dollar store. Look at all the glitter. Um because it's cheap um also i got business cards for um labels to write addresses on you know because there's a lot of them you get 200 cards for a dollar and we could i could just write our addresses on them so i thought that was pretty affordable don't judge me and my cheap ass y'all i got kids and grandkids that i'm trying to help support okay so, um, I got a bunch of these in different colors, but they did not have white and they did not have any that didn't have glitter in it. So this is just the, um, it's not lace. What's it called? Um, help me out y'all. What's it called? Like fishnet. Um, yeah. What you said. Yep. You hear y'all hear that, that what, what, yep. She said it. So, oh, it's tool. <laughs> it's the technical term is tool, but we don't call it tool, right? We call it something else. And she said it. So write it down below so they can hear you too, boo. <laughs> so you can definitely use this to encapsulate or press down and pull up. Then I got these little adorable buckets three buckets for a dollar right and let me see what size they are five by 4.8 4.8 is how tall it is from bottom to top and then the five inches around the top of the the pot so i got three of those for a dollar again you can use those for files brushes whatnot um, I thought this was a good buy, a great steal, whatever you want to call it. You got three of these nice pop container, not pop like drink, drink, good, good, um, containers, but, um, pop cap, pop top. I call them pop tops because that's the easiest way to say it. But what's great about these, you guys, is that it has that rubber silicon. It should be silicon, but it's probably rubber. I can't tell, and I don't want to pull it out because it's from the dollar store, and I don't know if it'll go back in properly. <laughs> but it helps to seal it to keep your stuff fresh. So I only had the red left. Also, I got this tape as well because this is that tape that has those lines. Um, it's like, it's something. Reinforced strapping tape. Handy dispenser and tape seals packages, cartons, etc. 
meet U.S. Postal Regulations. So, I got it because I thought it would be great to put one to three strips across the boxes um, so that it's harder to tamper with um, for people to get into it. And, you know, you, you'll break the seal. And not everybody's going to have this kind of tape. But everybody got that clear tape, you know what I'm saying? So, if somebody got into your package and then retaped it, how you going to know unless you have a label over the seal? You know what I'm saying? So, whatever's whatever. But yeah, so I got that. And then the last item of the day are these plastic containers here. And they all came with a lid. So I got one of each lid in the colors that they had there, which was blue, clear, and black. And I will pull one of them out. We'll get the black one. So, um, we have a really nice container. And again, it has a pop where you have to snap it in so if you were clumsy like me and you drop it it's not going to open no matter how much you drop it or pop it or whatever okay so that is my dollar store haul and guess what boo i'm gonna give you something else but it's free 99 if you click that subscription button <laughs> you get to be subscribed to my channel for free so go on ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And if you're not new, and if you are new, I would like you to say hey. Say hey, girl, hey. So, y'all, what am I going to say now? Say it with me. Stay delicious, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm -hmm.